Today's lesson is about projects. Autodesk has a very nice section on segregating the, the projects and the tasks into the project module so they don't get kind of convoluted with your tickets and you have a better view of running uh, different uh, important projects. Things that take, would take maybe a big ticket with a lot of hours and, and uh, uh, maybe a checklist that doesn't even uh, fit everything into separate tasks that gives you much more uh, clear overview, including also phases. I'm going to quickly give you a, uh, a I don't say a deep dive, but a quick overview, high level overview. And then later on, we have some lessons where we basically specifically create some stuff from uh, scratch. Here you see that there's a, a projects menu here. I'll start from top and I'll go quickly go through these ones. You have a little dashboard. Now, in this case, the dashboard is pretty uh, basic because it re uh, references a couple of uh, default uh, reports that are in the system. Uh, there are some resources. There's a uh, project right now. It's kind of underway, an implementation of uh, MFA. And this is just a demo. So just to, for you to see what's all in here. Uh, there's also a dashboard on here where you have the project manager, the projects, and the task, and the project history. Let's click this project manager task also on the, on the top. And as you can see, this one gives you much more information, much more uh, uh, graphical information. Now, this is all uh, some uh, demo stuff, so it's not really uh, current and active, but they would say there was <laughs> nine projects that were overdue. That's not a good one. 35 hours remaining hours, so maybe if you put one resource on it, you can get it done. Over here, you have your active project, uh, the progress. Several projects are on the way, and uh, this is an interactive menu, so you can click on it, and it will open up that particular uh, project into detail. Um, let me quickly show you a couple of them more. You have the active projects by lead and by department. Now, modifying this entire uh, dashboard is an option, and that's going to be explained in the dashboards. So this is one dashboard that you have. There's another one that calls for the task. So a, a, a line item into the project uh, is called a task. It basically has the same uh, view as a current ticket, what you know from the system. This gives you a dashboard specifically listed on all the tasks. So it could be like the overdue tasks. Um, see what it all brings up. The overdue uh, amount of hours that are in those tasks. Uh, is it by resource? How many uh, hours are due? Um, some tasks coming up. So all kinds of detailed information even spread out over your resources. And here you can see that a lot of those tasks that are overdue have not even the resources assigned. So this would be kind of a way for you to kind of manage this click on it and uh, change those tasks into somebody that is res uh, a resource. And then from there you can uh, work with it. The second section is the projects. You can do the search. Now, by default, it brings up the search screen. The search screen is kind of similar to the screens that we know. Uh, make sure that by default it says project open. For right now with the default filters, I can press search. And it gives me a couple of those project names. But it could also be that you want to also see some closed project. Uh, there's the button over here to say clear filter values. And now it goes away. And now you can press search again. In this case, it brings up the, the new or the same list of projects because as you can see over here, the status is all the same. Remember, there's the columns user here. If you want to have more information in this particular uh, list, then you can basically uh, add it in here. Complete date would be all empty because none of these ones are complete. But also here on the top section, remember also there's a choose filter uh, button here as well. And you can remove from build filters and you can add some filters. That way you can better search if you have a lot of projects in there. Now this is the list of projects. Again, you have the little hamburger menu that you can quickly go into there. You can say view product project or you can also really edit the project. You can also add a project note and a calendar item. Um, quickly open one. Let's see what it, uh, what it pops up. And then we can see on the schedule. What's going on? And somehow the, it was an older version uh, project created. Let me go back and see if we can get to, an, uh, to another one. And I probably had to uh, upgrade the, the, the option to Convert it to a newer, a newer project. See, now it's done, and now I have the option to go to the schedule. And this is kind of what I wanted to quickly show you in a high level overview that these kind of gray bars are your phases. And then you have over here, you have your tasks, which is basically looks like a ticket. 
And this is a, a whole uh, a network refresh project, an example of, of how that looks. And here you can see also the whole estimated hours and how to get to it. Uh, there's also the summary button that says estimated hours 78 and the duration is 46 days. Um, there's no time booked yet on this one. This one is completely open and it's a completely new project and it has to, uh, to get started. Later on, I will show you more how to create this project, but I want to quickly dive into that one. That's the second one is the search project templates. Because you can create, once you have a project, let's say you have a project done and you say this is a good project. I had a good uh, set of phases, good, the good task listed in there. Then you can save the project as a template. And once you do so, you can uh, pull, pull it back up from here. And once you have those templates created, you can create a uh, ticket from here. And uh, once you create a project, I will show you again uh, in the different lesson, you use these templates and then you don't have to start everything from scratch. There's also a proposal uh, project. So this is a good one too. Again, you can create a, uh, a proposal project into the system. Uh, probably won't be for the entire work, but if you create a project proposal uh, to calculate the amount of hours needed, and this is before you quote it out. So you would create this proposal. Uh, somebody, an engineer, will, uh, will define all the steps, all the hours, and then those hours will go into the quoting. Now, the good thing is once you have uh, approval on that quote, you can just uh, activate the proposal and you don't have to create a project from scratch. The project is already there. So that's why a project proposal is a great way to, to start your quoting, but also once you have won that deal, to work from there. The last one is the reports. There's a couple of reports that are concerning about project, as you can see over here, a whole bunch of detail. It all depends on what you kind of you want to use. Do you want to have a profitability forecast? If, if all your numbers are correctly entered, uh, there's the portfolio, how much uh, project we have right now going on, also the profit and loss, also about the tasks, what's due, and there's a couple of live reports there. The, there's nothing in here, but that's a separate lesson where we explain you how to get those live reports. So you have these kind of reports already here by default. And you can find them under the reports in the projects tab, uh, but you also have all those uh, visibility in a uh, live view in these kind of dashboards. As you can see, that concludes all the options that are in the project uh, menu. That's a quick high level overview. We'll have a separate uh, lessons that will dive deeper into those templates, those proposals, the creating a project. And from there you will gain uh, the, the proper insight on how to work with projects and use this system of Autodesk in, uh, in a nice way and get some efficiencies out of it. If you have any questions, please visit our Facebook group and post a comment over there. Thank you.